What's up, guys? We are back with some more My Hero Academia. We got episode 18 and 19 here, up and ready to go. I'm excited to get into things. I've been all caught up with episodes. Well, everything before episode 18 and 19. I don't know why, why I even said that. <laughs> Um, I just do want to p apologize. I don't know, like, if this will make it into the video. Maybe I'll figure something out. But I did record, um, my reaction to episode 10 and 11, I think. That's the episode where Deku got his new power, the Black Whip, and, he, like, that whole chaotic thing went down. Just, I recorded that, but I had tr been trying to record it in my new... Um, I guess I'm going to call it studio, but it's more like my home gym um, that I just thought about using. And the, the one thing is it, the audio was very echoey, but I kind of knew that going in. So I was just going to go through some more like audio processing stuff and try to fix that up. Uh, but I didn't get the chance because it turns out there is a shit ton of crickets in there that I did not know about. The entire video, they just did not shut up. Like, there's no way I could edit it out. There's no way I could, like, quiet just them down and keep my own voice up. It, it's dumb. I didn't prepare for it enough, I guess. I knew there was crickets, but I didn't think the freaking video... Oh, oh it pisses me off. But whatever. We're just going to move past it. I'm sorry if you were maybe looking forward to that. But... Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fix it. Just, yeah, I... Sorry, it's just the way it is right now, I guess. But anyway, for these episodes, um, all I really know is, like, Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki have all started at Endeavor's agency. They've been helping him out a little bit. And Hawks is doing his whole, uh, you know, um, undercover thing. He passed a message on to Endeavor about you know, the attack that's going to happen. So that, that, that thing's going down. I don't think I really need to explain like all of it because you guys probably know. So I'm just going to hop right into the episode and see what goes down. Let's go. Several years ago. Huh? Okay. Getting some backstory. Oh, Oh, uh, old Endeavor picking fights, man. With this poor cop, too. Like, what's it? What, he thinks he's gonna fight the cop? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh? Oh, that's... Is that the, um... Like, the power-enhancing needle? Oh, shit. Oh, what's he about to do, too? Oh, man. Oh, that's not going to help the Endeavor father-son relationship that's already kind of strained. <laughs> uh, I guess a hostage situation would be more difficult, but we got Endeavor, the number one hero. Todoroki, Deku, Bakugo. <laughs> I'm not too worried about, like, a, a straight-on fight. It's just, yeah, that hostage thing kind of fucks it up. I don't know. I do. Like, I 100% understand Natsu's situation because his dad was a straight up a-hole, man. <laughs> like, his entire childhood. I don't think Endeavor really gave a shit about anyone other than Todoroki, about any of the other kids. Toya, whatever caused him to die... I can understand Natsu being like, for, like, first you didn't care enough, and then you didn't protect him. Like, you didn't care enough to protect him. So that I get, plus their relationship is just strained from the mother and Todoroki's, like, whole thing. But I, I do also feel for Endeavor, because he's trying to make things right, at least. He hasn't done a whole lot, I guess, yet. Um, but you can tell he's trying to be better. Natsu is understandably more reserved. And it is nice that the sister at least has like high hopes for forgiveness and becoming a 
more um, normal family, but everyone copes with things differently at, at their own pace. So Natsu, he'll come around, I'm sure, to Endeavor at some point. Maybe sometime like this episode, I don't know. Seems like they're focusing on it. <laughs> oh, well, that was surprisingly pleasant. Bakugo just wanted the recipe. Oh, I didn't think him the cooking type. Uh -huh. Well, shit. So what is this guy's, like, this enemy's deal? He just, does he want to die by Endeavor? I, I was getting that sort of vibe from his whole speech at the beginning, but maybe he just wants to kill him. The classic villain move. <laughs> oh shit, damn. Damn, I thought man was just about to throw him at him. Yeah, okay, so... So he's controlling... paint? Okay. Or just lines? Man. Then let him do it. <laughs> Why are you threatening his son like that, bro? I guess to piss him off. Heroes, yeah. Not supposed to kill people. I get it. Maybe he plans on killing Natsu to piss Endeavor off so much to kill him. Because he knows since Endeavor's a hero, he probably isn't supposed to be killing a whole lot of the villains. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever killed any of them other than like Nomu type things, right? Damn. Damn, man, he's pissed. Ooh, man looks even more like a cartoon than usual. Oh, Bakugo? Ah. Forgot something. Oh, got the uniforms. I have been wondering, what is Todoroki's costume? Or outfit, whatever, good for. It, isn't it just a backpack? Like, I don't think I, I don't think we've ever seen him use it for anything. Like Deku, he has the Air Force gauntlets. Bakugo has his grenade gauntlets too, I guess. But I don't know what Todoroki's is. Is it just? Oh, maybe it's a safety vest. Winter time. <laughs> it's the winter time. Oh, poor Bakugo. Still kicking ass, though. Yeah, but can't get past that. Oh, damn, stopped him right in his tracks. Oh, oh really? Ah. It's a rough situation, yeah. His son was... Just talking shit about him to his face. <laughs> but no, I doubt that affects like him wanting to save him, right? I'm sure he's just being like cautious. Can't get too close, otherwise, who knows? Okay, Bakugo, yeah, get him out of here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys, they got this. Damn, Endeavor's lucky that these boys were with him. This villain picked, like, the worst possible time to attack. <laughs> oh, at a boy? Wow. Yeah, one week. One week. Deku has improved his control of Black Whip that much. <laughs> I thought, I, I straight up thought, it was going to be a long time before he was able to control it. Like, I, back when he said that, like, he wasn't going to be able to use it until he was, like, 100%, I believed him. I thought it was going to be, okay, we got to wait for him to be able to use that because having more than one quirk would be a little too OP, right? And then the next few episodes after that, they were like, oh, no, he can use it, just not that much. It, it was literally just like a puff of smoke. But now this man, he's just catching cars with this shit. 
<laughs> and it's been one week. Yeah, buddy. Oh, Todoroki! Not a single one. Damn, man did not stand a single chance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> did Bakugo get stuck in it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, though. Yeah, look at Baku go. Oh, but no, that was sweet. And never was worried. That's faster than me. They did pass him. They did. Man stopped. Oh, uh, they did also capture a villain. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think it's the right time. Not to be rubbing it in his face right now. Like, come on. Yo, guys, yo, sh chill! It's the number one hero here. He's having a moment. Yeah. It's hard to forgive people, right? Some people have it, like... Like, they can just do it no problem, but... It's... Like, you can't blame him. And he is. He's making progress. Ah, uh, this man liked him when he was an asshole. Makes sense. Uh, well, maybe you deserve this, man. Maybe you deserve for your dreams to be squashed like that. Ooh. Never tell you. Yeah, he's waiting. He wants to tell the genus. I am I am curious what this man shows. Not explosion murder death or whatever. <laughs> well, that was a good episode. I really uh, I'm a sucker for uh like l literally any kind of for I guess forgiveness scenes or atonement, uh redemption, that sort of thing. And it, I think that's why just Endeavor has been such a strong character for me lately. Like, I cannot tell you how many times I've watched the uh, season four finale with like Endeavor's uh, plus ultra prominence burn. <laughs> oh man, it's got to be in the hundreds at this point, dude. It's honestly, you know, it's kind of messed up how many times I've watched it, but. When I start like working out, if I really need some motivation, that is one of the videos I pull up. It's just, it's like, damn, I want to be as badass as Endeavor. And just his whole redemption story just really hits with me. Like I said, I'm just a sucker for that sort of thing. And like I said multiple times, Natsu, I do not blame him. I do not think he's in the wrong or anything. I don't think anyone's in the wrong. It's just a personal preference situation. Like... If Natsu can't forgive him as quickly as, like, Shoto does or as his sister does, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the sister's name. Um, but her, that's okay. Man can just take his time. And like he said, maybe he'll never be able to forgive him. But, you know, that's just something you got to push through. You got to work through it yourself. Maybe Endeavor will do something that will atone for what he's done. It's just the one thing I'm curious about, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is, like, Toya. Apparently, somehow, Endeavor, like, he said he might as well have killed him, so he didn't actually kill him, thank Christ. But uh, something bad, like, he didn't protect him, I'm sure, as well as he could have, that sort of thing. And maybe we'll learn about that this season? I don't know. I don't know. I There is the theory that, like, Dobby is Toya, is like the long lost sibling or whatever of the Todoroki family. Because like fire, blue fire kind of makes sense because it would be a mixture of like the cold and the fire of Endeavor and his wife, Todoroki's mom. So like, it's not really that far of a guess, but it's so obvious. I don't know. Maybe they'll like psych us out. Anyway, though, I, I need to get back into like I'm episode 19. I'm hopping right into so. Uh, I will be back with that in a second.
Their turn begin. Yo, how many terms are in, like, in their first year? Is it three or is there like four? It's just they've been in first year for five seasons already. <laughs> uh, well, I guess like four and a half if you want to be picky about it. But I don't know. I guess maybe it's just a way to keep the story from progressing too much. I don't know. Is it going to be a long running show or manga or whatever you want to say? I'm just hoping it's not like a one piece. You know, Naruto... I can deal with, I guess. I hope it's not going to have like 500 plus episodes, but I could deal with that. It's a good enough show. Oh, well. Man just answered my question for me. They only got three months left. Hey. Hmm. Damn. Damn. Okay. I don't even know what to say to that. Hip movement games, hip games strong? I don't know. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know what I was just even looking at. Hey, still better than what he used to be. But anything's better. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. He's. He's dead. <laughs> Bro, that should. That should have killed him. I'm not. <laughs> Cerebrospinal fluid? Wow, Bakugo was like, I'm done with this man's shit. <laughs> he's, he's had enough of him being in his way, of him being faster than him. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take care of this right now. Take him out. Damn. No one's giving this man any respect anymore. <laughs> oh, I liked the joke. I didn't fully understand it at first because it's English, but I'm sure it was, it would have been great. Really? So the Nomus are like sentient? I sort of wondered, especially with the one that Endeavor fought because it was pretty smart. It had, like, its own thoughts. It was able to form plans and talk. That, like, even being able to talk means it has, like, its own mind, right? Oh? Does that mean that who they knew, the, the person that they knew at UA... Was a Nomu or is the portal guy? I I don't know. I have to wait here. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Sure, busy base. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. So their their old friend has actually not even been alive. I don't think it's just. It's body? Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying it. It's because it's a Nomu. But um, his body has been being used as, like, the base. So does that mean Kurogiri, like, his personality is sort of based off of him? Because he does have his own personality, from what I remember. Strong people, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he just wanted to always beat the next strongest guy. There's a strong chance that Kurogiri is, or would have, some of his old memories still. Yeah, so man still cares a shit ton about it. Oh, the cat. It's always a cat. Gotta be hitting in the fields. Yeah, so whenever he had he, he whenever he had a duty to protect something, he stuck to it. <laughs> Black mark. Ah, okay, so 
She be hanging. Ah, this tricky son of a bitch. <laughs> so he never actually fully expelled anybody. That always concerned me back in like season one when it said he, I think he once like expelled an entire class. I, I was curious more than anything, like how, how did the school feel about that? You know, the entire class, like 1A being just expelled. <laughs> what are all the other teachers going to do now? Do they just get the year off? Or... Pretty cute. Ah, oh, boy, not anymore. Come on, get this man. Get this man out of here. Yep. Man just... Man faltered for a second. Now he's back to it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, man's putting on a facade. Hospital. Oh. Oh. Just he just said hospital. Does that does that help at all? That just like raises the question. Kuro Giri has been around for like a, since season one. Like he's been around for a while. But so why is he like the only Nomu that has that sort of like sentience? Because we've seen a bunch of the Nomus that are like they're they're literally just like puppets. I guess they. They have no free will. They have to be told what to do. Um, and then there was the one that Endeavor fought, which could think for itself, but it was still kind of, you know, iffy on, I guess, using its own head. It, it couldn't talk that well. It's um, re really like the extent of its power or its mind was being able to um, like think about what the best course of attack was. Bakuro Giri... Man can have conversations. He he's like he he makes his own decisions. Like he he just decides like when to open a portal, when the fight, when they have to like run. Because I, I think there was a few times when he was telling uh, Shigaraki what to do. So like this man, he's on a whole other level than the other no moves we've seen. So does that mean there's more like him just hiding around? Because that makes me wonder then. If, like, there is still that whole spy situation at UA uh, where they think one of the teachers or something is a, like, a spy for the villain, the villains, the League of Villains. So maybe one of the teachers is, like, a Nomu, and we just don't know it. Coffee, coffee black with lots of milk and sugar. This dude is so weird. <laughs> so, oh, oh, like masterpiece Nomu. Oh, oh shit. Well, damn, that's rough. Man, I feel like they're getting into like some really dark territory because I was not expecting them to go into like a straight up childhood friend who's dead being revived and like being among them without them knowing that's rough for Eraserhead and present Mike Eraserhead especially since he's the one we're closer to I was not expecting to have like a character moment with him like that and that was rough. That was really brutal. And then there's this whole thing with the freaking uh, Shigaraki. He's kind of becoming a Nomu, or at least he's being experimented on. Like, I'm not sure if they're trying to, like, up his power level, or what exactly the experiment is going to accomplish. I guess that has to be it, right? Because he said it's going to, like, maintain its ego and be powerful. So they must just be really, really like juicing this man up right now, you know? <laughs> oh, but that's not good. That's not good at all. Cause he was already a decent threat. His decay power isn't really anything all that special. It just, it's definitely a villain type power. It's scary as hell, but if it was powered up, I don't know what it would be like. 
would it just like that you'd just be gone if he touched you probably i would think so you just wouldn't even have a second to think about it i feel like the next few episodes are just gonna be like really really rough <laughs> to watch it's gonna there's gonna be some uh tough subject matter maybe because a lot of the episodes so far have been very kind of lighthearted. They've been, well, I guess I shouldn't say that. Last episode was, it was a heck of a thing, the whole Endeavor and Natsu thing. But other than that, it's been pretty kind of upbeat. It's just been training and um, becoming stronger, focusing mainly on the UA students. But now I feel like they're going to get into the more serious tone of like the the hero is actually having to do something about this army this liberation army i don't know it definitely probably won't get solved this season i doubt it's just a this season thing i'm sure it's gonna probably end on a cliffhanger the, the whole season i'm i'm almost betting it because i can't imagine them dealing with an army that has like what hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of people within the span of like six episodes that we got left nah 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 oh ah, well whatever they do like whatever they decide to focus on it's gonna be good we all know it. and i have seen some of the imdb scores of the next few episodes and they're all like really good it seems so i i really like I need to step my game up and watch all these like real quick. Anyway, though, those were two great episodes. It is currently eight o'clock for me right now, and I already worked a 10 hour shift at work. So I'm sorry if this video might've been like a little bit less talkative than normal. It's just because those two episodes have those damn crickets, I felt like I had to record something real quick in order to have for like to post in the usual spot so i yeah i'm sorry i kind of felt like i wasn't doing that much but i don't know if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like <laughs> maybe i shouldn't be talking shit about myself <laughs> in my own video but i just like to be honest with you guys um hopefully you still enjoyed though uh be if you did be sure to like subscribe to the channel uh comment down below anything you want to say your thoughts opinions on the episodes on the video whatever uh yeah just that's gonna be it for me so i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll talk to you all later peace